Hi, we are Troop 41105 and we are here today to teach you about knots and lashing. Today we'll be teaching you four knots and two lashings. I'm Claire and here with me is Jessica, Ella, and Allison. And first up is Jessica with the square knot. Hi, I'm Jessica here with the square knot. It is basically a blend of two thumb or overhead knots. It is also called a reef knot. Just like the overhead knot, it's easy to tie but difficult to untie. It secures a cord around an item. So first you take the right rope and put it over the left rope and then pull it under loosely. Next you take the left rope over the right rope and pull it under tightly. That's all. The bowline knot is a little tricky but an essential knot for camping. It's used to fasten around the middle of an object for pulling when pulling or hauling. The first step to this knot is to make a U shape as such. Next, pull, put a loop on one of the ends. I like to do it with the end that, the side that my writing hands on. Next, put the, put a loop, your other side through the loop, around the tail, and back into the loop. Make sure to tighten. Now you have your completed bowline knot. Practice this a few times and you'll be an expert at this knot. Hi, I'm Allison and today I'm going to show you how to make a clove hitch knot. This knot is very easy to tie and untie and can be used to tie a rope to a stick or a pole. So first what you need is this, the rope that you want to tie and the stick that you want to tie it to. So you're going to take your rope and divide it so that you have one end of it is shorter than the other end and the, the longer end should be long enough that you can use it to do whatever you need to do for it. So first, the first thing you're going to do to make this knot is loop the shorter end over and behind the rope like this, pull it back in front and over the longer rope, so or the longer end of the rope, so that you have an X shape that looks like this. Then you're going to pull it back behind the rope again and up and take the end of it up through the loop of the X. Now tie it, tighten it by pulling the short end off to one side and the long end off to the other and there you have your clove hitch knot. Hi, I'm Claire and I'm here today to teach you about the figure eight knot. There's, it's used for mountain climbing and sailing and there's also a really fun way to do it. First you make an alien head like that, and then you take the string that's on my left side and you wrap it around, strangling the alien, and then you take the end of the rope and punch it through the face. And then you pull it tight, and there, mess up, and then there is the figure eight knot. Next up is Jessica and I with the diagonal lashing. The diagonal lashing is very useful and it's also pretty easy to do once you get the hang of it. First, you make a clove hitch knot, which was shown earlier in the video. And that's what it looks like. And then you take this and you go diagonally across and then you go under and around there. Make sure it's tight and then you pull it up diagonally and then you go around and then you'll go diagonal and around and you'll just keep doing that uh, for like four or five times and make sure that it's pretty tight. And then after you do that about four or five times, then you start frapping. And for frapping, you basically go over the under stick and then under the over stick. So, like and this. so you take yeah. it under here. And then you take it down and up and you do that like four, five times. 
And frapping is used to make sure it's tight. So after you frap it about four or five times, then you just tie it off with the square knot. And that's all. So that's what it should look like. And then square knot. This is the last thing you're going to be learning in this video. This is called the trifle. The first thing you need to do is make a clove hitch. Okay, in case you don't remember, you make a clove hitch by creating an X with a um. So first what you need to do to create the clove hitch is make one end of your rope um, shorter than the other end um, so that you have one long end and one short end and in order to make the tripod, the long end should be very long because you're going to use it to lash your entire tripod. So you're going to begin by bringing the short end behind your um, your stick and up over in front, back in front of your stick, and then over the longer end, and then just bring it back in front of the rope and pull it through the loop you made when you created that X. The next thing you're going to do for this tripod is to put all the sticks together like so and then wrap your rope around tightly three or four times. So, one, two, three. I like to do four because, just to play it safe. Next, you need to put your string underneath the tripod, one of the tripod's legs, pull it up like so, and Allison, move your hands and push it down. Do this for all the sticks three or four or five times. I like to do it until my rope runs out though. Now, the last step is to spread your tripod legs out. Ours is already kind of spread out from not lashing. Now you have your completed tripod, perfect for a hand washing station. Once again, we are Troop 40105 and we hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.